Okay, God, this is like the dumbest fucking thing. Uh, so Pokimane, who is like a horror, is Pokimane the one that does does like OnlyFans, or is that Amaranth, or do they both do it? And elucidate me, chat. What what is the what is the truth here? Oh, it's Malibu Barbie, Malibu Barbie, not just Barbie. Sorry, my bad. Malibu Barbie and I was. Uh, Poke Pokemane or Amaranth? Only Amaranth. Okay, so Pokemane is not a proper prostitute yet. She's just a softcore prostitute on Twitch. Um, and a hoe. I will say that. Uh, she released a brand of cookies. Um, under the name Mina, I believe. How you say that? And they're called Midnight Mini Cookies, Deep Chocolate, Velvety White Chips, and Sea Salt. And that's what she's put out. She says they're my cookies. Um, apparently, they are $28 a bag. And the scandal is that they were originally branded and sold as Totsy Midnight Cookies for $10. And now they're $28. So... <clears throat> And as you, wait, as you can see, um, this is a bit confusing. You have to, you can't just say like how much it is. Number one, these are three bags for seven dollars a bag, and this one's ten dollars for a bag. But the, um, the bags are different in their filling. The Tootsie Midnight Cookies are fourteen ounces of cookies, and the Mina ones are four ounces. So you get twelve ounces of cookies for twenty eight dollars. Or 14 ounces of cookies for ten dollars. So the the Pokemane branded cookies are way, 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 way more marked up, like incredibly marked up. Um. So that's that's a, that's crazy. That's crazy marketing, and this this became a point of contention. People were asking, like, "Well, you're just taking these Totsy cookies and you're selling them for like three times the the profit margin? Isn't that kind of shitty of you?" And she's, she came out with a little clap back that did not work in her favor. When people are like, oh my god, $28 for cookies? It's four bags. That's seven, seven dollars a bag. I know, I know math is hard when you're an idiot, but uh, like if you're a broke boy, just say so. Okay, yeah. Anyways. okay number one. This bitch is eating into the fucking microphone. I want to slap the shit out of her. Number two, she has the most annoying baby voice I've ever heard. Um, she's up there with like VTubers and like intentionally annoying fake voices. Number three, yes, math is hard, but as we just said, 14 ounces and four ounces, uh, that's some bullshit. Uh, yeah, I mean, the thing is, is that you're allowed to brand some cookies. I'm like, I could go out and make a Kiwi Farms cookie and sell it. And I could charge $28 for 12 ounces and people would still buy it because they want to support the site, right? Um, you can't just be a huge dickhead about it. You have to, like, her her demeanor is fucking irritated. I, I, I have a really nasty, disgusting, violent thought about, about influencers on the internet and their crazy stalkers. And I, I want to say it, but... Every part of me is holding me back, chat. They're all holding me back. I can't do it. Moon pies. You think Kiwi Farms could buy moon pies and sell moon pies? All the moon pies in the store would be Kiwi Farms branded. Yeah, that shit would get pulled off the shelves so fast. No, no, listen. I gotta... I have to hold it back. Um, though it is... Her, her response is really fucking gross. Uh, she says the batch of minor cookies we're currently shipping were made three weeks ago. They are not a single, not a drop ship product, and we are our own formula. The cookies they are being compared to were also made by our manufacturer, Creation Foods, which spec specializes in healthy foods. The compared cookies had one test batch sold before they were retired. Months later, we partnered with Creation Foods and fell in love with the flavor profile of the Midnight Cookie. We then decided to work to refine and improve the formula, and we're really happy with the final product. While the ingredients list may look similar, they are entirely different in terms of ingredient quality, 
quantity and ratio, sourcing, the size, texture of the cookie, and of course, the atom and vitamin D. Refining formulas is a very common practice in the food industry, and around 80% of the foods you see in the grocery stores are white labeled. Um, making a healthy and quality snack with real gluten-free ingredients and added vitamins is not a cheap practice. If you've been following me for some time, you know I rarely take sponsorships because I try to be mindful of promoting or endorsing products. I haven't sold merch in years. I cap my donations, and frankly, if I wanted to cash grab, it would be silly to do that through a startup because they are extremely unlikely to profit in the first few years. Any profits we make goes directly back to creating more quality products. Um, that's true. If you sell products, it's a it's really risky. It's really risky to put your money into making a bunch of silver coins. They might not fucking sell. There might be issues. You miss if one thing happens. If you put fifty thousand dollars of silver into a box and you ship it from Indonesia to Utah and the fucking boat sinks, um, and you don't have insurance, you're fucked. <laughs> you you fucked you fucking idiot you lost all your coins bye bye uh so it is it's really uh it's really risky you're taking a you're taking a big risk putting up cash for shit like that so uh, it's true um i think her big issue is that nobody would have fucking cared about the cookies um if uh she just wasn't such a stupid cunt about about responding to criticism and I don't know. I, I kind of understand. I don't want to simp for her or whatever, but like I, I understand the feeling and I understand that snippiness that comes out like, bro, I just spent like eight fucking months trying to get cookies stocked so I could sell them to people. Uh, and, you know, and you're like asking me these stupid questions and I don't want to get into like a full depth answer and explain to you the minutia of the business exchange. Like her explanation makes sense to me. Um, but her snippiness really didn't help her. <laughs> yeah. She's fundraising. What's the problem? There is no problem. Uh, if she wants to sell cookies, go for it. People want to buy the cookies, go for it. Um, however, she should control her anger. I think that this, this comeback of her yelling is just like a frustration. Like, I spent a lot of money and time trying to get this stuff together. And I don't want to, like deal with this bullshit controversy so she just got snippy it's like well you're trying to you're trying to sell something to people you can't really be dickheads to them especially not your own audience because they will they will hold you accountable and especially not when you're so hateable like pokemon is really hateable so it's a bad idea to like be snippy thank you for watching this clip this is the caca remember to like and subscribe